this bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians probably. over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Should talk to Vesemir. Good man. Whose field is that the other side of the river? By the wood. Boy in Climax. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he... Yes, yes. This boy in. Will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of a Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bands that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. 
Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learned some things. It's a male, had its nest in the vulpine woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in wait. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Your ground told me about Freak. Make way. Stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me. Once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking, got a griffin. Watch out!
good. Could stand to improve some things. For example, upward vertical strike, it's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones, I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist! Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. 
Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I... We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes. But I await the repair of my... Let me have a look at your stock. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. to the lilies. Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. attending to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! <laughs> Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Oh, 
It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl? We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. As far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Just the beginning, but then... But then... <laughs>
Jennifer, how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima.